Hello everyone, I just thought I would do a quick demo on what I've got new in the store that is very inexpensive but very handy. This here is a divination question dice which you could use it with tea cards, charm reading, oracle cards, uh, tarot, Lenormand, whatever takes your fancy. And in my Etsy store, it's actually two up, I've, you can see where I've cut this one off, and it's a print of dice, so you just cut it all out, fold it and glue it all together, and you end up with a question dice. So the things that I have on here, we have a negative aspect, outcome, advice along the way, consider this, is, what do we need to do now and a positive aspect so we've got six sides okay so this is just some random creation that this scatterbrain sometimes comes up with and today I'm actually using my steampunk tea leaf fortune telling cards now these are a deck that won the two international carter awards as voted by the people and that was through the international tarot foundation in the uk so what and how do we use this all right we're going to shuffle our cards oops butterfingers today okay so we're going to shuffle our cards now say you've got a topic um i'm just going to use a random it's like okay young man who's stuck at home working from home because of the virus and he normally would work in the office and he's hearing rumbles that there may be cutbacks when they return to work. So he's a little scared about, will I actually have a job to go back in the office too? So say he's come to you and we're looking at that type of question. So what we can do, we roll our dice, whoops. So what's the negative aspects that he may be worried about? The scales here, I'll just zoom in now, so. He may be a little worried about, yes, who is going to get the cutbacks, who is not. So the scales is about what is a good balance to him, legal, financial, binding. So the negative aspect there would tell me he really needs to go through the contract or the work agreement that he has with this job. So we then throw our dice again. What advice does he need to do along the way? Heart. Now, what I'd look at heart when I'm looking at a job would tell me he needs to show his passion for what he is doing. It's a great card with work because it would indicate that, yes, he is a good worker, quite passionate with what he does. We've already had that there. So we roll our dice again. So what's the positives that are coming out of this? Cards. The playing cards in the symbology in this deck sorry i'm trying to zoom out uh, is often about things strategic so the positive there would tell me he needs to hold his cards literally close to his chest and think about what he needs to do and put into place that is a good sign because it does indicate he is a smarter thinker and one who can think outside the box so you can go to the whole six cards if you want or I can just even leave them at those three. You could throw again, and again, we've got advice along the way. I trust his instincts. It's a beautiful sign of protection. I'd look at this, and my advice for this young man would tell me, first inspect your contract to see if it is a permanent contract and that there is no loopholes. Show his passion that he needs to do. These are very good because it would tell me things outside the box. And then we have the eye, which is the beautiful eye of protection. But it's something too that means allow yourself to see things in a realistic view. So there you have it. It's my divination dice that's available in my Etsy store. Oh, look, we've even drawn outcomes. So let's snap. Plain, totally different direction that he's probably going back to, but it would still tell me he's soaring, he's going up in the world. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.